What if your phone could be smarter than your computer? What if it could play the most demanding games, run AI, edit videos, and stay cool all at the same time? Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. Because the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is coming. And it might be the most powerful mobile chip ever made. Let's break it all down. What makes this chip so special? Why is it launching earlier than expected? And most importantly, how will it change your smartphone experience? Let's dive in. Last year, in October, Qualcomm surprised everyone. They launched a brand new chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. It wasn't just another upgrade. It introduced the Orion CPU, Qualcomm's first custom-designed CPU core, not based on ARM's default designs, but something they built from scratch. The result? Phones got a huge performance boost. The CPU was 45% faster, the graphics, the GPU, were 40% better, and battery life? Much more efficient. It was so good, Qualcomm didn't even call it Gen 3. They started a whole new line, the Elite series. And now... It's time for the sequel. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is launching much sooner than expected. Usually, Qualcomm holds their Snapdragon Summit near the end of the year. But this time, it's happening in September. And yes, we already have benchmark scores. And they're absolutely insane. Let's look at the performance. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 scored over 4,000 points in single-core Geekbench 6 and over 11,000 points in multi-core. To compare, last year's Snapdragon 8 Elite scored around 3,100 single-core and about 9,800 multi-core. That's not a small jump. It's a massive leap forward. And all of this comes from the second-generation Orion CPU. Faster? more efficient, and even better for AI. This chip is ready for the future, from running huge games to doing AI photo edits in real time. Now, let's talk graphics. The Adreno 840 is the new GPU inside the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2. It's replacing last year's Adreno 830, and it comes with 16 megabytes of its own dedicated memory, up from 12 megabytes in the last generation. Why does that matter? because it helps with smoother gameplay, faster frame rates, better thermal control, and longer gaming sessions without lag. Imagine playing top-tier games like Genshin Impact, COD Mobile, or Fortnite on ultra settings with no stutter and less battery drain. That's what this chip is aiming for. This chip is built on TSMC's third-generation 3 nanometer process. Now I know, 3 nanometer might sound like boring tech talk, but here's what it means for you. Smaller transistors means more power in less space. Lower temperatures means phones don't get too hot. And better battery life means more hours of use, more room for AI and camera upgrades. And here's the crazy part. There are rumors the CPU might reach up to 5 gigahertz. That's the kind of speed you expect from a high-end laptop, not a phone. This could allow new possibilities. Faster app launches, pro-level multitasking, real-time video editing. All from your pocket. One of the most exciting things? AI. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is designed to handle powerful AI tasks on device. So instead of sending your voice, photo, or data to the cloud, it can process it right on your phone. This means better privacy, instant responses, smarter camera features, real-time translation, and voice assistance that actually feel smart. This chip isn't just about speed, it's about intelligence. So which phones will use the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 first? As always, Chinese smartphone giants are ready. Expect to see it first in Xiaomi, Realme, and OnePlus. 
they're always the first to adopt new Qualcomm chips, so their flagships launching in late 2025 or early 2026 will likely carry the new Elite 2. And after that, other brands like Samsung, Asus, Sony, and Motorola will follow. So whether you're a gamer, a creator, or just someone who wants a smooth smartphone, this chip is coming your way. Let's pause and think for a moment. Phones today are doing what computers did five years ago, and chips like the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 are making that possible. You can now edit 4K video, play console-level games, use advanced AI tools from your phone, anywhere, anytime. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is not just a new chip, it's a sign. A sign that smartphones aren't slowing down, they're speeding up becoming more powerful, more intelligent, and more useful. This chip shows us what's possible when a company pushes its limits. And honestly, it's exciting. So, what do you think? Are you excited for the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2? Do you think it's the future of mobile computing? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Because this year, tech is about to get wild. And I'll be right here, breaking it all down for you. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.